Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. How are you tonight? Let's see, I can see Jose Francisco, good evening. Irma, good evening. Oscar Humberto, good evening. Sandra, good evening. Good evening. All right, so it's time to start with the class, right? So good evening. Good evening, good evening Mr. Pardo. How are you tonight? Uh, fine, teacher. And you? How was your day? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Are you going to participate in today's class? Uh, yes, teacher. I participate uh, more than yesterday. Perfect. Great, great, great. Excellent, no problem. All right, so I can also see here Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. It's too hot, but I'm fine. Let's see here. What? <laughs> Tonight, it's very hot, right? Ah, uh, yes. Here, very hot. Oh, I can imagine. All right, let's see here. We're just going to wait for two minutes for the rest of your classmates to join the class and then we're going to start, right? Let's see the team. Going to start sharing the screen. There you go. Let's see here, this is gonna be the crease screen. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Great, excellent, two more minutes, okay, and now let's start here. Okay, officially, good evening everybody. Thank you very much for being here on time. I really appreciate it, all right? So now let's see who is here. I'm going to say good evening to everybody again individually. Mr. Munguia, hello. Mr. Ordonez, hello. Uh, Daniel Castro, hello, hello. Uh, Erling, okay, Erling is driving, so good evening. All right, so let's see who else. Good evening, Hello. teacher. All right, so Carla Milena, good evening. All right, good evening, so teacher. Marta, hello, Marta, Mauricio. All right, Nancy again, hello. All right, so Oscar, Mr. Pardo again, and Sandra, hello, hello, hello. Hey, let's start right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as every class, we are going to start right now with um tongue twister, right? So remember, every day I have a new one for you so you can improve and practice learning new words and, uh, you know, 
pronouncing new words as well right here. So let's see. Woo, the one for today. All right, take a look. <laughs> All right. I saw some surprise faces right there. It's easy. It's exactly the same word repeated many, many times. All right. So you can, um, you know, start with this one in practice. All right. It only has two words, fresh and fry and fish. Oh, I'm sorry. There are three words, fresh, fry, fish. And then you have to repeat it many, many times. Right. So it's like, let's see, let's see. This is the first one right here, all right? It says here, fresh. Repeat everybody, fresh. 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 Very good. Fried. 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 And then fish. Fish. There you go. Fresh fried fish. Repeat it. Fresh. Fried fish. Fresh right. fish. Fresh fried fish. Fresh fried fish. All right, excellent. So and now you have to repeat it. Let's see how many times do you have to repeat this tongue twister right here? It's gonna be simple, right? So you repeat it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears throat> ten. 11 and 12. All right, excellent. So we're going to repeat the time, the same three words 12 times. So it's gonna be like fresh fry fish, fish, fresh fry, fry, fish, fresh, fish, fish, fry, fresh, fresh, fry, fish, fish, fresh, fry, fry, fish, fresh, fish, fry, fresh, fresh, fry, fish, fish, fresh, fry, fry, fish, fry, fish, fry. Oh, I can see the last one. Fresh. All right, so let's see. All right. That's easy. Do I have a routine for tonight? Who's gonna be the volunteer? Who wants to try it? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. No volunteers. Oh, oh, you need. Do you need time to practice? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to give you right now three minutes to practice. All right. So. It's going to be like three minutes and I'm going to set my alarm here so I can listen to you. All right. Excellent here. So it's just here. Three minutes. All right. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oops. We can project it. All right. Three minutes. Three minutes. Remember, just to practice the same word, right? Fresh fry fish. Fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh. Fish fry fresh. Excellent. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. All right. All right. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Practice. Practice. Because I can see some possible volunteers right here. So let's see who could be my volunteer tonight. It could be Abner. It could be Irma, Carla, Maria, Marta. Mauricio, Nancy, all right. Oh my goodness, Mr. Pardo just changed to oyente. <laughs> all right, let's see. Don't worry, teacher. Um, okay, I'm here. Volunteer, volunteer later. All right, good. <clears throat> okay, boy. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. <clears throat> fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh. <laughs> Fish fry fresh, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh, fresh fry fish, fish fry fresh fry, All right. fry fish, fresh fry fresh. All right, excellent, thank you. That was actually Difficult. good. It's confusing sometimes, right? Yeah, but you were yes, actually super, super good as well. So congratulations, my friend. Thank you. All right. So the rest of you still have one more minute, all right, to practice. In one minute, we are going to start selecting some volunteers to practice the tongue twister here. All right. So no problem. One more minute. One more minute. Thank you to Mr. Pardo who, for participating. Right. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Let's see. 
And let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. 30 seconds, everybody, 30 seconds more. And then we are going to start selecting some volunteers. All right, all right. Hello. 15 seconds, people, 15 seconds. All right. And let's see who it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, time's up. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So now, okay. Time to select some volunteers right here. Any volunteer now, people, that you have practice? Who's my volunteer? Hello, hello? No problem. Let me see here. Okay, let's see. Abner, good evening, Abner. Mute. Next one. All right. Irma, hello, Irma. <laughs> hello, teacher. Good evening. So, all right, it's your time to participate here. Go ahead. Ah, uh, come on, you can do it. Yes, 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 yes. Go uh, ahead. Fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fish, uh, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fish fry 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 fish fresh, fish fresh fry, fish fry fresh, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry. Fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh. Very good, excellent. You were doing a very good job. Easy, yes or no? It was easy, super easy, facile, very good. Thank you, Irma. That was very, very good as well. So congratulations and thank you very much. All right, excellent. So uh, any other volunteer? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mauricio Antonio. Thank you, volunteer. Okay, teacher. Go ahead. <clears throat> fresh fried fish, fish fresh fried, fried fish fresh, fish fried fish, fish fried fish, fish fried fresh, fried fried fish fried, fish fried fried, fresh fried fish, fish fried fried, fried fish fried. Fish feet feet. Okay, good. Thank you for trying. All right. Just remember, Mauricio, that the word here it's no free, it is fried. Repeat it. Fried. Fried. This one. So it's just like fresh fried fish. Repeat one more time. Fresh fried fish. All right, excellent. So go ahead and do it one more time. Por menos una cinco veces, bye. Good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, fried fish, fish fried, fried. Ah, uh -uh, remember, fried. it's fried. Fried. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fred, fried, fresh fish. Fresh fried mm -hmm. fish. Fred, fried, fried. Okay. Fred, fried fish. Fried. <laughs> Fried. Oh, sorry, yes. teacher. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Fresh. Fresh. Fresh fish. fish. Very good. Fresh fried fish. Great. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just don't forget to practice the pronunciation of the word fried. All right. Good job. Good job. Let's see. Anybody else? Let me see here. Maria, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? I am fine. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Now, 
I want to hear you, uh, you know, pronouncing this, sound twister. Okay, I will try. All right. Okay. Fresh, fried fish, fish, fresh, fry, fried fish, fresh, fish, fried fresh, fresh, fried fish, fish, fresh, fry, fried fish, fresh, fish, fried fresh, fresh, fried fish, fish, fresh, fry, fried fish, fresh, 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 fresh. <laughs> the last part is actually the most difficult one. The last one. Fish, yes, fresh, I know. Fresh. <laughs> exactly. All right. But thank you. You were doing a good job as well. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So let's see here. Uh, another one. Another one. So let's see here. Who is it? Carla Milena. Hello, Carla. Buenas noches, teacher. Good, good evening. Buenas noches. Oh, my goodness. All right. So. <laughs> Se me olvida. Okay. <laughs> Go um, ahead. Fresh fried fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh, fish fry fresh, fresh fry fish, fish fresh fry, fry fish fresh. Mm -hmm. Fish fry fresh. Great, excellent. Thank you very much. I like it. So very good, very good. Aunque dijo buenas noches, right? But thank you. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> good, good, good. Thank you very much. All right. So let's see. One more, one more. It's gonna be that one. All right. All right. So let's see. Let's see who else is here so we can participate. Nancy, what happens, Nancy? Normally you are volunteer, right? <laughs> It's <laughs> easy, easy, easy. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Fresh fried fish, fish, uh -huh. fresh fry, fry yeah. fish, fresh, fish, fry, fresh, fresh, fry fish, fish, fresh, fry, fry, fresh, fish, fresh, fish, fry, fresh, fresh, fry, fish, fish, fresh, fry, fry, fish, fresh, fish, fry. Fresh. <laughs> fresh, right, fresh. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually super good. I liked it. You were doing good. All right. All right, everybody. We are going to stop right here so we can continue with the next activity here. All right. So thank you. Remember, like the tongue twisters, la razón por la que practicamos tongue twisters es porque it is actually necessary that you uh, start uh, pronouncing certain words y haciendo sonidos específicos que quizás en Spanish we don't have, right? So let's just continue with this one. And we're going to start with this information right here. All right. So this is just like the topic or, or like this one here. All right. So let's just go ahead and verify this one. Oh, what happens here? Sorry. One second. I don't know what happens here. One second. All right. So let's see this one. Do you see the new screen, people? Or are you still able to see the tongue twister? ¿Qué ven ahorita? Twister. Twister. The tongue twister? Yes. All right. Excellent. So we'll, we'll see. Technical difficulties, but don't worry. It's going to be okay. So let's see here. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. Great. Excellent. So uh this is there what is work etiquette all right so well that's what the topic for today is going to be work etiquette all right or etiquette so like this one right here all right have you ever heard about that in the spanish people mm -hmm. do you know how do you say this one like work etiquette all right or etiquette what is it mm -hmm. do you know it yes or no ¿Qué es una etiqueta de trabajo? Una etiqueta de trabajo, pero en realidad, ¿qué es una etiqueta? What do you know as an etiquette? All right. What is it for you? Mm -hmm. Una etiqueta, una viñeta, you said? All right. So what is it? Uh -huh. Es como un comportamiento. Exactly, right. So tiene que ver con lo que vimos anoche, right? Remember what we checked last night? ¿Qué era lo de last night? What was what we were studying last night? Uh -huh. Do you remember it? Yes or no? 
Hello. About emails. El tema de anoche. Yes, 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 yes. About emails. Pero había también certain information right here that we uh, were talking about, like, en las partes de las cosas formales, right? Eh, y también eh, un tema que vimos a couple of days ago. ¿Se acuerdan de los... Creo que fue el Friday, si no me equivoco, right? De las manners, good manners. Remember it? All right, como de las cosas que no se podían hacer en el trabajo, o things that you shouldn't say, like the rules, let's say. All right, so, and then we have this one right here. So, let it read in this one, it says, the work etiquette, it's a code that governs the expectations of social behavior in a workplace. Mira aquí, social behavior in a workplace. Esta palabra ya tiene que estar memorizada, people. What is workplace? Lugar de trabajo. El lugar de trabajo. ¿Y qué era behavior? Comportamiento. El comportamiento, right? So the word etiquette, it's a code. All right, cuando decimos un code, it's como like rules. All right, un código, all right, que gobierna las expectativas eh, del comportamiento social en un lugar de trabajo. Y este código, this code, it's put in place to respect and protect time, people, and processes, right? So like this one, para proteger eh, de todo ahí, right? So what is this one important, all right? So because sometimes, for example, all right, so um, now with, nowadays with the social networks, right? Sometimes estamos recibiendo uh, WhatsApp right from our uh, job en horas de descanso o en days off, all right? So, entonces, that will be part of that one, all right? How do you say this one in Spanish, my friends? Days off, what is it? Día libre. Exactly, day off, which means día libre. There you go, excellent, el día libre. And uh, what else is this one right here? All right, so protect your time. Por eso dice aquí, protect your time, right? So like this one, protect people para que nadie, like, you know, te respete dentro del, la, del workplace, right? Or uh, los processes, all right? So, y esto protege a la compañía, right? So, para hacer las processes, like the way it is supposed to be, all right? So, but to see and to understand this one in a better way, we are going to actually do something different here. Uh, there is a video that well, I want you to watch with me here, and it's about this, about the word etiquette. So please pay attention because I'm going to uh, play it right now. All right. I'm going to uh, turn my camera off so I can take advantage of the connection, right? Let's see here. But I'm going to be uh, asking questions about the vocabulary. So pay attention, right? Like this one right here. Etiquettes. Whether you are starting your first internship or have many years of professional experience under your belt, how you present yourself to others in the workplace. Escuchan? Yes. Can you hear that? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Matters. The rules of etiquette define what manners are appropriate and what. Okay, excellent. So take a look at this one right here. It says right here that the etiquette define what the manners are appropriate, right? ¿Cuáles son los eh, comportamientos, right? O las, los eh, modales adecuados o apropiados. That's what it says, all right? What else? What else? Let's see. What conduct you should try to avoid. When you use good manners in the workplace, you create an environment of respect. Co-workers are more likely to become engaged and productive in an environment where colleagues... All right, excellent. So what is this one right here? Vamos sacando vocabulary, people. So please, 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 please. All right. And what is this one right here? Engage. What is engage? Any idea? What is engage, people? Comprometido. Comprometido, very good, all right? So that's actually what it means, comprometido. Okay, let me send it here to the group so you can check the vocabulary. There you go. So let's continue with this one right here. Leagues are polite, thoughtful, and kind. Here are seven important workplace etiquettes. 
1. Understand your work environment. The values, policies, and procedures of a workplace can be difficult. Aha, let's see this one. This is one of nuestras classes. Get in those values. You remember what was the values, people? Valor. Valor, valor or valores. All right, thank you, Luisa. All right, so. Los valores. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. So we continue with this one right here. To discern it first. If you are in a larger organization with a structured human resource division, you may have access to an HR manager or in house trainings to keep you informed of your organization's expectations. In a smaller workplace setting, some of that knowledge may come from observing others and asking questions of your colleagues when needed. Lastly, observing the atmosphere and actions of others can help you understand what's appropriate and what's not and how to best navigate the workplace while maintaining your professionalism. Two, consider your body language. There you go, excellent. So the number one, it says about, uh, as you can see it right here, understand your work environment, all right? So sometimes when we go to a company or we change the companies, so there are different scenarios or different work environments, right? So do you understand what's the meaning of environment? Or can you tell me what is it? Um, yeah. El ambiente, right? So that's right. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. All right. So uh, that's actually what it means, right? So when you go to a different company, you need to like try to understand first how it's your work environment, right? So you can act or react to certain things, right? Uh, we need to understand how they work. Cosas se pueden hacer, cosas se pueden interpretar o tomar de una mala manera. For example, eh, we, we, we are working in a place where I can tell jokes, all right? So, what are the jokes, people? Do you know it? Bromas. Yes, chistes o bromas, right? So, I can tell those uh, jokes, right? And everybody is fine with that. But if I work with a company when they don't like the jokes, right? So they might be offended. So I need to understand the way they uh, go. So let's just go ahead and check now the second step right here. I know that was super important. That will be this one, you know? Two, consider your body language. And here you go. Take a look at this one. What is body language? All right. So have you ever heard about body language before? Yes, thank you. Lenguaje corporal. Thank you very much. All right. So uh, this one right here, the lenguaje corporal or the body language in English, right? It's super important because, you know, any expression that you make in, in, in your face, right? You cannot say any word. But imagine, for example, now I'm going to write away my camera again. Uh, if you tell me, like, for example, let's say, hey, how do you say this word? You say I pronounce it mal. You only have a kind of like, right? So you're going to feel offended probably because it, you know I'm not being professional in that way. All right, so let's just continue with this one. Your body language can send different messages during conversations. To ensure your body language sends the same message as your words, practice good nonverbal communication. When speaking with others, make eye contact and nod when applicable to show you're paying attention. Smiling can show your enthusiasm for the topic. Keep your arms at your sides for a neutral pose or put your hands on your hips to demonstrate confidence. When sitting or standing, ensure your back is straight and your shoulders are back to show you are alert. Three, do dress appropriately for the office. There it goes. Here we had another one right here. Take a look. And it says here, dress it properly. All right. So every company has different, um, you know, rules when it comes to dressing up, all right? So if you work in an office, like for example, the bank or any other office, you need to wear formal clothes, right? A tie, formal shirt, and pants, etc. right? But what happens when you work, for example, in construction? So you cannot be formal, you have a different type of clothing. But if you work in a factory, you can actually as well work, uh, you know, casual, for example, or if you have a, a job in places like in a call center, so you can dress up. Also, you can go in pajamas to the call center. So that's no problem. All right. So let's continue. 
compass. What constitutes appropriate dress code? It will depend on the particular culture of your workplace. It's best to select simple and comfortable clothing. Review your employee handbook or contact a human resources representative for more information about your company's functional clothing. Or not, don't have personal conversations at your desk. If you must have a private or mm-hmm. functional clothing, or not, don't have personal conversations at your desk. Okay, take a look at this one, all right? It has to do with like, what we are talking about a couple of days ago, and it says this one. Take a look. Do not have personal conversations at your desk, all right? Which means, means no gossiping, all right? So, no gossip. Remember gossip? What was it? It cheese me, right? Exactly. All right? So, like, no gossiping. So, you move to a different place and you start talking and talking about other people or making comments about other co-workers so that can create... You know, a really bad environment, right? So let's see. What's the next one? Mm-hmm. You Gossiping see, it's one of the cardinal sins of office work. Just don't do it. Whether you see, you see, but... that's what it's what I was talking about. All right, it's it clearly says there, not gossiping, right? Because it's not appropriate, all right? And uh, that's what we were talking about a couple of days ago. So let's see here. Let me just play it again. One second. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let me try. Hold on. Oops, what happens? Five. Avoid gossip. Gossiping is one of the cardinal sins of office work. Just don't do it. Whether you're tempted to gossip about your boss, coworker, or the company as a whole, you're not hurting anyone but yourself when you do. Gossiping can portray you as someone who can't be trusted or someone who isn't a team player, which won't help you reach your professional goals. It can also be duly harmful if it gets back to the target of the gossip. Six, table manners. Table manners, all right? That's another one right here. So you can work on this one. And it says this one right here. Table manners, table manners, table manners, all right? What is the table manners, people? Mm-hmm. What is the table manners? Hello? Modales. Modales en la mesa. Los modales en la mesa, exactly, right? So we go on this one right here. All right, so that's actually not like the most important one, but it's actually necessary as well to know about this one. And let's see, uh, what's this one right here, all right? Negotiation. Seven, be mindful of others. All right, there is a word that we need to understand right now. What is mindful? Repeat it, everybody. Mindful. Repeat it. Mindful. Very good. It mindful. Means mindful, people. Hmm? Hello, hello. Mindful means consciente. Consciente. All right, so let's continue with this one right here. Stay mindful of those around you, particularly as you're moving around the office. Check over your shoulder when you pass through a door and hold it open if someone is behind you. Hold the elevator door for others if they're walking toward the elevator. If you need to complete tasks for others to perform their duties, try to finish them as quickly and accurately as possible. Use please and thank you when applicable in corresponding with others. Practicing mindfulness while working around others demonstrates your teamwork and collaboration abilities. If you like this video, please subscribe and press bell notification for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. All right, excellent. Thank you very much for helping me watching this one right here. And then we can just start uh, discussing this, all right? So let's see, what uh, do you understand or what do you learn from the clip we just watched, people? It was about what? About? Hello? Hello to in the office. Exactly, right? So certain rules that we need to follow there to avoid uh, you know, having any issues with our co-workers, right? And the word etiquette, as you can see here in the presentation, right? So that's what we're talking about this time here. Now it's your turn to participate and have conversations, right? Regarding the topic right here. And what's the conversation that you guys are going to have about? 
All right, so you're going to have three questions right here. So the first one, everybody here, repeat with me. It's the word etiquette familiar to you? Repeat it. One, two, three, go. It's the word etiquette familiar to you? There you go. Excellent. So when you hear the word uh, familiar here, all right, so what does it come to your mind? ¿Qué quiere decir? Es la, es la palabra etiqueta familiar para ti. Exactly. Like if you know what is, is it or if you have heard about that before. Very good. Excellent. You can say yes or no. For example, you said, yeah, it's not familiar for me. I have never heard about that before. Vamos a ver aquí. ¿Cómo se dice? Yo nunca he escuchado acerca de eso. Mm -hmm. We have ever been here about there you go that. exactly so we'll be like i have never i have never heard about that right i have never heard about that like that one all right thank you very much that could be an answer that's a possible answer here all right now let's see this one it says mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace Let's see, for example, um, can someone tell me like some rules that you have uh, in your company, people, so we can share that with the rest of the class? Someone, someone? Anyone here? Let's see. Um, we're going to check this one. Oh, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello, teacher. Can you tell me about two rules that maybe you have in your company? Mm -hmm. Así como las que vimos on the, on the video. That's the one we watch. Um, for example, at the time of the work is around 7.30. My boss, he never like we go late. It's All right. the first rule. And the other one is listen to music. Mm -hmm. I never listen music in the world when my boss is in the office. That's <laughs> super important. When, when he boss. left, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. So, okay, so you see, that's actually a rule. So you can uh, listen to music, right? Very good, excellent. So then we go this one. Eh, tenemos no pueden, one. pero yo se las canto. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is here. Are these rules important? Esas reglas, por ejemplo, la que acaba de mencionar eh, Maria. Maria, in your company, I, are those rules important in your place? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Are the rules important, Maria, in your company? Listen to music or um, being punctual? Yes or no? Son importantes esas reglas? Yes. 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 Because imagine, for example, how would you feel if you are working so hard, concentrated, right? And then Maria is playing Bad Bunny there, right? So, <laughs> no, Irma, she likes play Bad Bunny. Oh my God, Irma. Es cierto, yo solo el buque escucho. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Confesiones. All right. So, here. Thank you very much. So, we are going to continue here. All right, excellent. So to answer those questions, we are going to be working uh, on, on the breakup rooms. All right, so los que están de oyentes, por favor, siempre traten de ingresar para poder, for, you know, continuing joining the conversation here. All right. So si alguien se queda con un oyente y no puede practicar, por favor, hágamelo saber y yo lo voy a ver room para que siempre esté practicando. All right. So entendimos las questions, people, before we go. Yes. I'm going to take a screenshot. All right, perfect. Thank you. Perhaps you can share it on the um, WhatsApp group. You got the screenshot now? Yes. All right. So let's see here. One second. There you go. This is right here. Change. All right, excellent. So 
There you go. Please try to join the rooms right now. Maria, Maria, what happens? Nice, the recording in progress. <laughs> so let's hear who he said. So questions about the questions? Solo de responder las preguntas, ¿verdad, teacher? That is correct. So usted responde las preguntas, right? Si le es familiar la palabra etiqueta, si la ha escuchado, qué sabe, etc., mm -hmm. right? Mencione dos reglas que hay en su trabajo, por ejemplo, no comer en el escritorio, right? no poner música mm. o reggaetón, o por lo menos, sí, yeah. por ejemplo, no fumar en los baños, algunas personas do it, right? so, y, y al final una personal opinion, ¿piensa usted o do, do you think que estas rules son importantes? ¿Y por qué? Sí, porque mantienen la convivencia, etcétera, etcétera, right? Mm, mm, ok, sí. Perfect, all right? Si tiene alguna duda acerca de vocabulary, please, ahí está el botón de ayuda para que I can help you with that. Ah, ok. All right. Great, Thank excellent. You. No problem. Y Maria. ¿Y usted qué puso en la primera? ¿Ya la contestó? No, aún no. No sé si estoy ahorita. Este. No está. No, no enseñando mucho. Ah, yeah. Mm, okay. No, de A lot of men eh, want to Oh my god. Ah, bitch. You're here. Está contando que su trabajo a las mujeres no les es permitido llegar como mostrando muchos sus atributos porque a los hombres les dan ganas de touch. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, it come a lot of men around the, the women. Okay. Yeah, oh my goodness. But, but... Just, just by curiosity, uh, Humberto, where do you work? Ah, uh, uh, Catalan. Excuse me. Uh, well, Catalan. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> all right. So, interesting. Interesting. Most in the farm. <laughs> in the farm. All right. So, in you work in the farm. I mean, at the farm, or you work at the store. No, I work at the office uh, on the Calle Cinco de November. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, All right. Excellent. Oh, my I God. Did, 
I visit that place very often. Uh, really? Yes. Yeah. It's the only Me place too. where you can find eggs cheap. Ah, <laughs> uh, sometimes. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Maybe one day now that I know you, I will recognize now and say hi, uh, I'm your teacher. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. uh, all right. <laughs> all right. So you finished talking? Yes. Well, <laughs> all right, no problem. Continue, continue. I will go to a different person. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye, Luis. Are these rules important? Why? Boo. You're here. Oh, Alexa. Alexa is just listening. Hello. You're... Hello, teacher. Oh, Alexa, can you participate or not? Eh, realmente eh, estoy en la oficina, teacher, pero he tratado como de, de ir. Según entendí, tenemos que responder las preguntas que estaban en el. That is correct. All right. Excellent. Ok, ok, ok. Entonces, sí, digamos que he trabajado, pero no he, no he conversado con las personas que están aquí conmigo, porque estoy en la oficina, entonces estoy así como. <laughs> Understand, don't worry. All right, excellent. So, but what you can share it on the chat para que puedan ver a otra persona también. All right, no problem. Okay. But thank you, Alexa, for participating. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, Irma, ¿ya has trabajado? Volunteer? Yes. Excellent. Volunteer, no. <laughs> volunteer, yes. Volunteer, ya dijo. Nah. Right. Okay. Sí, ya, ya, teacher. Ya está right, bien. Very great. Excellent. So I will go to a different room and then I'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No tener el teléfono en el trabajo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no ser bullying. No bullying, very good. Uh -huh. No bullying al trabajo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Pero sería... No escuchar música. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Ser respetuoso. Yo, yo. Be respectful, yes. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Any other? Questions, questions. Mm -hmm. That's our questions for again. All right, so we are going to uh, finish the activity here and then please go to the other rooms whenever you receive the notification. All right, okay, that's in here. Let me send this one. Hello, hello. In organized by the 
Mantener. Tener que. Este, an harmonious work. A normal. Work, work environment. Environment. Harmonious. ¿Cómo sería armonioso? O como. Keep the harmony. Sano. Keep the good environment. Sano. Sí, no. Mm -hmm. It could be to keep a nice job mm. environment, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Un ambiente de trabajo bonito. No, agradable. We can call it like that. Ah, agradable. Agradable. Sí, mejor. Ambiente. Yo puse keep a respectful and organized environment. Environment. All right, excellent. So well, we're going to finish the session here and then we'll go to the main session to share the answers, okay? Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Ok, entonces en la primera vamos a decir J. María, what happened? Hello, María. <laughs> Hello, teacher. We were waiting for you and then María disappeared. No, I, I told you. Va, volunteer. <laughs> because uh, teacher in the last one, we, I can say yes, because we concentrate more on our work. Yeah, of course. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. yes. Porque tiene que ver con este lo de play music, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. All right. Yes. Uh, are these rulers important? Why? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. There you go. Okay. And the number two, I cry, be late for work. Accent music. Do, do, during, how to pronounce? Pronounce? Uh -huh. During? During, during, during. Do, during, 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 during. During, during work hours. And the other ones, eat during work hours. Working eat. hours, yes. Working hours. Okay. There you go, exactly. All right, everybody. So thank you very much for participating and uh, trying to answer those questions right here. So now we are going to see what the answers are. So let's just see. Do I have any volunteer here who wants to participate? Who's going to be that one? All right. Volunteer, volunteer. Who is it? Let me see here. No volunteer. No problem. Me, hey, teacher. Oh, excellent, Maria. And then, Maria, you will have the superpower to select the next volunteer. All right. Okay. Excellent. So, Maria, tell me, it's the word etiquette familiar to you? I never heard about that. All right. And, uh, well, tell me then two uh, rules of etiquette at your workplace. Okay. Be late for work mm -hmm. and listen to music during working hours. Listen to music during working hours. All right. Very good. Thank you. And do you think that those rules are important or are these really important? Yes. Because Why? we concentrate more on our work. In our work. Okay, very good. Excellent. So you know what? That was actually super nice as well. Thank you. And thank you for the creativity in the answers, right? Very good. Very good. So super nice. Super nice. Okay, so then... Do I have a volunteer or Maria will select the volunteer now? Mm -hmm. No volunteers. No volunteers. Oh, okay. Hello, Alexa. Yeah, all right. Go ahead, Alexa. Tell me. Uh, it's a word etiquette familiar to you? 
Yes, it's familiar. It's familiar to me. All right. So tell me two rules from your company. Okay. And one uh, dress formally uh, Monday to Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And two uh, respect the hours of entry and exit. All right. Of the office. Exactly. Your job is special. Mm -hmm. yes. Your job is schedule. Thank you very much. All right. So that was actually super nice as well. Thank you. Thank you for uh participating. That was actually very good. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Yes, yes. Si no está Maria waiting for the next volunteer. But Maria, it's your turn to select someone. Okay, teacher. Hmm. Um, Carla Milena. Excellent. Hello, teacher. <clears throat> All right. Thank you very much. So let's just go ahead and check this for you. Okay. It's the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is familiar to me. <laughs> oh, nice. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Um, don't swear. Mm -hmm. um, have a clean and tidy desk. Ah, amazing. So like, you know, to look very clean all the time. Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much for that one. Good answer and good pronunciation as well. All right. Thank you. So now, Carlita, please select the next volunteer. Okay. Um, Nancy, Nancy, Katia. Nancy, hello, Nancy. Hello, thank you, Carlita. All right, excellent. So now, it's the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. All right, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Mm -hmm. No smoking in the workplace mm -hmm. and not having personal conversations in, on the desktop. All right, excellent. And do you think those rules are important? Yes, because the work environment is much better among colleagues. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. All right, I like it. Very good job, Nancy. You were doing awesome. All right, so let's see. One more and we finish. Uh, Nancy, do me a favor and select the next person. Okay. A mí me encanta como Luis lo habla, así que Luis Humberto. Okay, very good. So let's see, Luis. <gasps> Disappear. All right. Luis, the microphone, Luis. Oh, hold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no problem. So now tell me, it's the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it's familiar for me. All right, excellent. So can you mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace? Okay, I think that the most important for the enterprise is that the men have to uh, must uh, short hair, I don't know. And mm -hmm. the second one is, could be, I don't know, uh, no smoke at the job. All right, and do you think those rules are important? No. No? All right, why not? Uh, okay, it's, uh, uh, I think that for the customer services, uh, it's important the how to have a good hair. But uh, for the administrative person, I think that it's not important because uh, it's not any where else so customer that can see. You. And for the second one to about smoke at the office, I think that you can smoke at the parking. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like smoking? Yeah. 
uh, electronic cigarettes. I don't know the smoking. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. All right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Very interesting rules, right? And very interesting um, the way you said, like, why you consider that they are not important, right? So thank you. I like it. And now let's see. Um, well, you're the last one. Now we're going to continue with this one right here. Let's see what the next one right here. We are going to read this one. Oh my goodness. This looks like a long paragraph, but we need to read it. All right. And let me just share this one here in the WhatsApp group so you can actually zoom in there. Oh, give me one second here. All right. Okay, this paragraph, it's already in the WhatsApp group, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see it there as well. So you can check it in a better quality or you can zoom in. in. And we are going to work on this one and read it together, all right? It says right here, um, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines. What are the guidelines, people? Do you know it? Hello, hello? Do you know what is this one? Yes or no? Pautas. Excuse me? Pautas. Pautas, all right. Yes. All right, so, but the most important is to be punctual to your office, right? Uno de sus compañeros, one of your classmates was mentioning that one, so you need to be on time, right? I guess that is mandatory in every job. Es importante en cada trabajo. All right, so if you're late because you had an emergency, that it's okay. Oh, take a look at this one. It says that if you're late because you had an emergency, all right? Las emergencias, you know, happen. I have once in a blue moon. Are you an expression in English that we can use this one? Read it. Once in a blue moon. You know, and it means claramente. All right. Once in a blue moon. Repeat the phrase, everybody. Once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. There you go. Excellent. So once in a blue moon means raramente, right? So yeah, you might have emergencies, but once in a blue moon, not like every day, right? So you're not going to have an emergency every day. You might got like 10, 15 minutes late. No possible. All right. So it says here, however, habitual late. Look at this here. Habitual late. Las tardas habituales. Um, Tomers, que llegan tarde habitualmente, are never appreciated in any organization. No los quieren en ningún lado. If you get to your office on time, all right, you show that you are responsible, right? You see? If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible. Si usted llega temprano a su trabajo, muestra que es responsible, right? And you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then good etiquette guideline would be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you're late. Aquí es algo super important, you know? If you know you're gonna be late, for example, imagine que usted salió de su trabajo at on time, right? Y que no ha pasado, I mean, que usted lleva tiempo y todo, right? So you can text your boss and say like, mira que voy eh, rumbo al trabajo, pero en esta calle hubo este accidente, right? So, creo que voy a llegar un poco tarde. So that would be like, um, you know, an etiquette guideline para informar por qué usted está, um, you know, um, arriving late. It is also here that etiquette uh, is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace emails. All right, mira, conocimiento, conocimiento, knowledge, 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 all right? Knowledge, all right, what is knowledge, people? Conocimiento, exactly, very good. So, of the workplace email etiquette, all right? So, lo que vimos hace poco, all right, of the other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Right? Claro y conciso. Eh? Aquí está la expresión. Clearly and concise. Look at this one right here. Clearly and concise. Concise. Uh, 
There you go. And you also need to uh, include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct languages for the emails, all right? Nada de etiquette, nada de em emojis, nada de, um, you know, abbreviations, right? That are not uh, important other than, all right? So, and in addition to knowledge, telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. So be polite, all right? When you uh, talk to your employees or your supervisors and avoid wrong interpretations, right? Mira, evita las interpretaciones equivocadas. Es decir, son expresiones que, eh, como les decía al principio, pueden ser chistosas, graciosas, que sea un chiste para nuestra eh, work environment, pero para ellos might be something offensive, right? It says here, etiquette guidelines are important eh, even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. All right, so, mira, it's super important this one right here. Are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers, right? No porque, like, for example, ese cumpleaños de fulanita, usted va a llegar, como decía Luis Humberto, ahí en, en, en su trabajo, ¿no? ¿Vale? Que fulanita llegó con una eh, blouster, and, you know, you're going to take advantage of that, and you're going to hop her and touch. No, right? That's not possible. Um, it has to be respectful as well, all right? Or eh, hay una costumbre a veces de querer, eh, like, you know, put the cake on the face of the person, right? Uh, when it's like someone's birthday, le tiran la cabeza en el pastel. All right, so um, maybe the person gets offended, so we better not to do it, a menos que haya confianza, right? If you get a call uh, when you are eating, say, excuse me, all right? All right, now that estoy comiendo, all right? So it's just like, disculpe, can you call me in five minutes because I am eating. All right, so, and they receive the call, or you make the call, right? Do not talk loudly while eating. All right, so I don't know if you uh, like it or not, but sometimes it's uncomfortable when you are eating with someone and someone is just like blah, 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 talking to you and saying those noises, right? Or chewing, all right? So um, what else, what else? And remember to close your mouth when you chew. Don't be like, oh my goodness, that's uncomfortable when somebody is eating like that, all right? Um, remember your behavior manners are under observation, right? So like this one, it's something that everybody observes when you are working in that place, all right? So, eh, porque puede ser considerado para futuras promotions, right? No es una oferta que le van a hacer, like this one, dos por uno, right? When a promotion, it means un ascenso, all right? So when a promotion means un ascenso. And that will be like basically what this is about, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, do you have questions about vocabulary from this uh, paragraph right here? Yes or no? No? All right, let's do something. I will give you a couple of minutes so you can uh, practice reading this. All right, so let's just go back to the breakout rooms with the same person you were working before. Leámoslos. All right, y vamos a compartir esto here. One second. All right, uh, this one is also part of what you need to do. Oh my goodness, technical difficulties, one second. All right, there you go, this one, that one. All right, this is what we're going to be answering here. All right, so we're gonna be working on those questions. All right, try to take a screenshot of the questions, people, so you can answer that one. Remember que el... Um, El párrafo se encuentra también en um, el grupo de WhatsApp. Let me see if I can send this one as well here. Okay. There you go. I send the pictures as well there, so you can see it as well. All right, entonces vamos a los breakup rooms. Lo leemos tranquilamente, sacamos vocabulary. All right. And respondemos las preguntas que tenemos en frente ahorita. All right. Let's do it. Questions before you move? Let me know. Go to the breakup room, Maria.
Teacher, yes. sorry, me voy a mandar al, al, al grupo. No, por... A mí también, teacher. <ríe> no les digo, veamos. María, María, María. Excelente. <ríe> so, veamos. I'll send it to number one, all right? Go there, María. Y, ¿quién era? Alexa, right? Yes, yes. Ahorita la movemos a number one, two. Va. There you go. Perfect. Everybody has been assigned. Let's see what they are doing. When, yeah. when talking mm. on the phone. Uh, ¿Por no es una hablas en el mm. oh. Interrupt the other speaker. And what about use polite language? Mm. Or oh, speak using clear voice. Yo diría que el B. Interrumpe, interrumpe, sí, interrumpe. Ay, no, pero es que dice, ¿por qué no es buena la etiqueta cuando estás hablando en el... ¿Por qué no es una buena etiqueta cuando hablas en el teléfono? Mm. No, ¿cuál no es una buena etiqueta? Ah, ajá, la que no... Ah, no, es que dice, ¿por qué no es buena etiqueta? No, it is which, it means cuál. Es cuál. Uh -huh. Ah, gracias, gracias, gracias. ¿Cuál es una buena etiqueta? Ok. Mm. Esa sería la. Sí, sería la B, ¿verdad? <ríe> Voy contigo. Sí. Interrumpir a otros que hablan. Yes, but if you are alone, you are gonna use the keyboard. <ríe> If you are with a friend, oh, it's only Mr. Pardo here. Oh, Carla as well. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. Yes, teacher, I'm here. All right. Are you guys participating or what happened here? Yes. All right. Oh, you finished already. No, teacher. Dividido las preguntas. Estamos, ajá. All right. I see. Okay, no problem. Let me know then. The subject. Okay. You know. It's two, three. Mm -hmm. If you have questions about vocabulary, please let me know. All right. Okay. Teacher, ¿qué significa? Quiero ver. However. 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 Yes, that means sin embargo. Um, sin embargo. Mm -hmm. However. Sin embargo. Mm -hmm. No more questions. Donde dice teacher en el quiero ver uno, dos, tres, en el tercer párrafo donde dice in ad, addiction o adición. In addition, como ad además de o adicionalmente, yeah. Ah, ok. Ok. 
Snowling. Wally. Y las últimas dos, yo, donde dice en, creo en el último párrafo, donde dice, you should, no, do not talk loud, loudly. No. Loudly es así muy eh, suave. Eh, no, no, de opposite. Muy fuerte, muy alto, muy alto, muy alto. Muy alto. Muy alto. Muy alto. Yes. Como ruidoso. No, like, what happens is like, hay algunas personas que tú estamos hablando frente a frente y de repente, ay, sí, tú, ya me acuerdo, o sea, que será, right? So, elevan a voz too much. Uh, okay. Entonces, eso, a eso se refiere. Como escandaloso, quizás, pero la voz. You know, basically, that's it. Y la, quiero ver, decía, Uh -huh. And remember to close your mouth when you ch chew, masticas. Chew, <laughs> chew, 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 chew. 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 Uh -huh. chew es masticar. Masticar sería chew. Okay. okay. Well, solamente es así. Okay, Por so mí, continue no. practicing no, no. and I will go to a different room to see what other people are doing, all right? Okay. Thank okay. you. Llamada en give the tail and ask for the call. Para mí que la letra sí. Sí, era. Ah, yo no contesto. Ah, la A. Yo no, no. A dice sí, ignorar la llamada y seguir comiendo. Yo no sigo Usted comiendo. Usted sí sigue comiendo. Yo no. I, I need to ask for the call. Uh -huh. Ask for so that the letter, the letter C, leave the table and ask for the call. A mí no voy a ver la comida. No <laughs> <laughs> oh, puede esperar menos la comida. Sí, sí o no, teacher. I agree. Sí. Yes, Con eso te yes. metan, les digo yo. No, no, no. I'm not there, but. Mm -hmm. There yes. you go. Exactly. All right. You finish, right, girls? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Excellent. So then we are going to continue with this one. All right. Vamos entonces a regresar to the main session para que salga volunteer ahí, Irma. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. The first one, number one. No. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Okay, everybody's coming back to the room. Waiting for them. Let me share the questions here so you can see them. All right, everybody. So let's just continue right now here. And do we have volunteer to answer question number one? Question number one, question number one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hello, hello. Me, teacher. Thank you, Mary. So let me start with the question and tell me the answer, right? If you know you are late, you should. Mm -hmm. uh, call the person you report to. That is correct. That's like the, the best thing to do, just to let them know that you're going to be late. And then, you know, you can agree if you compensate it or not. But I'll see it's letter B. Call the person you report to. We're going to um, select it here. So it's going to be this one. Call the person you report to. 
Excellent. All right. What about the next one, number two? Volunteer number two, number two, number two. Me, teacher. All right. Thank you, Carlita. Go ahead, please. And letter C, express the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. All right. So what is that tip to apply in official emails, right? Very good. Remember that even though we are learning English now, so let's see el párrafo que en el, el idioma que sea, so that they need to express the subject clearly, right? And there you go. Thank you, Carlita. Number three, number three, everybody. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Mm -hmm. I'm teacher. All right, Irma, tell me, which is not a good etiquette when talking on the phone? Uh, interrupt the other speaker. Interrupt the other speaker. Exactly. That is correct. All right. Very good job. Thank you. And the last one. Do we have any volunteer for the last one? Mm -hmm. Hello. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, please. Uh, leave in the table and answer the call. Thank you very much, Mr. Pardo, for participating. All right, you were doing a good job with this one. So this is the correct one. Leave the table and answer the call, right? Para no contestar la llamada y en medio de todos, exactly, all right? So thank you very much. You have been doing a very good job on this one, all right? And now, before we go to the next activity, vamos a revisar la asistencia. Check attendance, check attendance. Please say present, all right? One second here. Where is it? Here it is. All right, so please say present when you hear your name. Okay, let's see here. Nine. Apner Molina is here, but it's not here. All right, so no problem. All right, Alexa Cibrian. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Ana Elizabeth. Bueno, por ahí al principio. All right, so Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Hello, Ana Luisa. No volunteer today. ¿Qué pasó? All right. Mr. Pardo. David Munguia. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Neftali Medina. All right. Um, Erling Castro. I'm here, teacher. Hello, Erling. Good evening. All right, so Irma. All right, Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. Mr. Ordonez. All right. Yes. yes. Carla Milena Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Kevin Eduardo Santos Cortez. No Kevin today. Luis Humberto González. There you go. Maria Castro. Present teacher. Boris Urbano. You. Present teacher. Nancy Carolina. Katia. Present. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I confused <laughs> the names right here. My bad. Nancy Katia Maria Ochoa. Sorry. All right. So Oscar Giovanni Menjimar. Present teacher. All right. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Raul Mauricio Ramirez. Not here. All right. 
Sandra Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Sonia Maribel. Present teacher. And Giovanni Laines. Ahí está. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Who are you, Sonia? Marta Marisol. Marta Marisol. Ahorita vamos a ver, permítame. Teacher y Mr. Pardo, I'm here. Yes, my friend. Acabamos de participar, así que don't worry. Lo tenía en mente. All right, so. Excellent, teacher. Me dijo Marta Marisol Castillo Valladares, right? Sí, sí. Perfect. Ya está aquí anotada. Don't worry. Excelente, excelente, excelente. So, remember, guys, que esta asistencia, aparte de la que yo paso aquí, se verifica con Zoom. La cantidad de minutos que usted ha estado conectado. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much for this one. Let's just go to the next activity right here. So, and now we are going to continue with this one. All right. It's your time uh, to participate doing this. What are you going to do? It's very simple. Summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article, all right? So the article, that like the paragraph that we were reading, we are going to summarize and to uh, give five etiquette um, guidelines from the article, all right? So cinco guías um, de etiqueta, right? So que leímos el párrafo. Five of them, all right? So... To do that one, people, we are going to, again, go to the breaker room so you can discuss it with our partner and uh, you can determine what are they, right? Que decía, por ejemplo, el teléfono, que decía acerca de llegar tarde, que decía acerca de los correos, all those things that you were able to read there. Ahora me las dicen cuáles son esas etiquetas, like you were discussing right here, all right? Is that clear? Do you understand that? Yes or no? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you for confirming, Mr. Gonzalez. All right. So then we are going to go to uh, the breaker rooms again so you can participate in solve this exercise. Go ahead, people. Remember, if you need help, you can just let me know. Yay, the same rooms, please. Mm -hmm. Same room, same rooms. Perfect, perfect. No alarm. All right. So let's see here. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Más o menos. De cualquiera. No, um, in the paragraph, ahí mencionaban este, um, ciertas guías, right? So, ciertos eh, etiquetas dependiendo de la, de la situación. For example, ¿qué pasaba si te agarraba la tarde? ¿Cuál sería lo correcto ahí? ¿Qué pasa si te llaman, por ejemplo? ¿Cómo sería contestar la llamada? All right. So, todas esas que estaban en el párrafo que les compartí. Ustedes mm -hmm. tienen que cinco. For example, we, we can say etiquette is also important when you have the communication with the employees, employees uh -huh. or clients in any part of the world. For example, by Ese es el paragraph, right? Yes. Uh -huh. All yes. Right. Espérame, espérame, que se me fue. All right. Room three. Bah, entonces aquí voy a sacar yo las etiquetas. So the etiquettes that you have right here. For example, here, but if you're late and you have an emergency, uh, it's okay. Let's say this one, but it's not an etiquette. All right. A good etiquette guidelines would be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you're late. Esta es una, for example. Understand? All right. Etiquette yeah. is also when you have to communicate with employees. All right, so uh, like the email etiquette, for example. All right, in addition, like the telephone etiquette, y cuál es? Y las etiquette guidelines, cuando celebrating with your co-workers, cuando decía ahí, verdad, no hay que aprovechar que 
ese cupé del jefe y como me cae mal lo voy a entrenar a la cara en el pastel, right? So, no, it's not about that one. All right, so. Or, for example, do not talk while eating. Entonces, todas esas que ustedes ya están, like, you know what over there, are the ones you're going to uh, be talking about. All right? Okay. Awesome. All right. So if you uh, don't have more questions, I will go to a different room. All right. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, me. Una pregunta. Me perdí por un momento. Este, no, no sé. No sabría qué hacer en ese caso. Mm -hmm. Atrapado. Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> so let's see. Don't worry. All right. So uh, this is just what you have to do to summarize five etiquette guidelines from the article. Es decir, sacar cinco eh, etiquetas o guía de etiqueta que vimos en el párrafo. For example, el párrafo. the part, ah, this one. All right. So in here you have to say which one, for example. By like uh, etiquette guidelines. Por aquí está, ¿eh? You know, when celebrating with your co-workers, ¿cuál sería ahí, right? Cuando recibes una, una call, right? Estás comiendo, ¿qué hacer? All right, so, for example, if you are late, all right, y por aquí decía, right? It would be like concern. A good etiquette guideline would be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you're late, for example, right? Then, you know, mm -hmm. todas esas que mencionaba el paragraph. Entonces, usted me las saca y me las hace oh. distinto. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Sería como en lugar de que usted me lea todo el párrafo, que yo le pregunte cinco etiquetas y usted la saca de todo esto que está aquí. Yes. Good. Great. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. Hoy oh, sí. <laughs> sí, sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. Official email. An official email. Mm -hmm. I found that. Sí. Okay. Express. Espera, me lo voy a escribir aquí y luego ya lo pongo ahí para que me corrijas. Express the subject. Really, really. When. When you send. An official email. An official email, brother. Uh -huh. Try to don't over overthink. Mm -hmm. so but, espera, me lo voy a poner aquí. Ya te lo paso. Mira cómo está. Express the subject clearly, clearly when you send an official email. Press the subject query when you send an official email. Okay. 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 Ah, sí, es que, es que la, la, la que mandaste, la, es, o sea, es la, la, es como que la misma, la misma idea, nada más que la mandaste ya completa. Entonces llevamos no. dos, dos tenemos. Ay, vaya. Oh, sí. Este... sí, tenemos la que mandaste, la que mandaste, ¿verdad? En imagen. Y la número dos. Ahora vamos por la okay. tres. <laughs> Bye. Mira, podemos poner la de la de Don't interrupt the other speaker. Para el teléfono. Ajá, sí. Ajá, esa la la de. Creo yo. Otra. Otra line when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Interrupt. No sé, tenés otra por ahí. Be polite and respectful. Ah, cabal. Can I help you? Hello, teacher. Teacher, uh, I have a question. 
Te amo, mi. No estamos seguros de qué debemos hacer. Don't worry, I will explain that to you right now. All right, so this is the paragraph that we were reading before. Do you remember it? Yes. All right, yes. so this is about good etiquette at the workplace. So from the paragraph, vamos a resumir y vamos a sacar nada más cinco de todas las cosas que nos dijeron ahí. So for example, mm -hmm. it says right here, uh, like the first one right here, ¿Qué pasa si yo voy tarde? A good etiquette guideline will be to call the customer okay. authority and report it. All right, por aquí dice qué pasa cuando um, um, the telephone etiquette, right? So telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the phone at some point during the day. You know, y ahí sacamos cuál es la, 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 la guía, uh -huh. here, right? Porque, pues, que nosotros nos habíamos dividido y mi compañera sí hizo lo que estaba haciendo usted, pero yo lo que hice fue sacar eh, como buenos comportamientos, pero no del párrafo. Mm, ok, maybe alguno también se puede aplicar, maybe. Porque yo, yo coloqué fue como no debe estar masticando chicle, Ok, pero por ahí había uno de esos. Es actually right. Sí, en el último párrafo. Ajá, por aquí parece right. Like uh, eating, aquí, ¿verdad? Mm, I guess it was just like... Bueno, pero aquí está. Uh -huh. eh, ajá, también coloqué otro que dice aquí. que no comer con la boca abierta. Ese, aquí está, mira, justamente eso. Ajá. <risa> To close your okay. mouth with your cue. All right. Entonces, así como que tan lost, you were not. All right. So don't worry. Y coloqué otro que dice que usted debe levantar la mano para hablar. All right. Excellent. So that will be okay. For eso lo podemos agregar en una meeting. All right. No está malo, actually, pero es related to that one. All right. Lo okay. podemos agregar. So don't worry. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you finished then? Eh... Maybe. <laughs> No, aún no. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. Okay. Continue working. All right. Okay, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Eh, pues sí, Carla, entonces tenías toda la razón. Eh, no sé si dejamos esas que yo tengo ahí y agregamos las que tú tienes. Ok, entonces sería de lo de la. Sí, sí, el párrafo, así que. Employees. Hello. ¿Cómo es? With the, with the line. ¿Cómo digo que se decía, Mari? Espérame. What was the question? Guideline. 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 Yes. Guideline. Uh-huh. Guideline. Guideline. Y la última frase dice co-workers, co-workers, co-workers. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es esto? Compañero de trabajo. Mm. Yo ya estoy bien dormida. No oh, wait, 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 a volunteer. No, oh, tengo sueño, teacher. Ya me voy a comer. No, estoy así, me voy a volunteer. <ríe> no, Mari dice que quiere pasar de volunteer. No, porque usted no estuvo ayer en la clase, entonces le toca. <risa> I like that. Thank you. No, yo, yo sí estuve. Que no. no parece... sí estuve. Póngalo no. a participar, teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo no? Porque hasta dije presente. Pues sí, pero no But you only say present and then left. Disappear like Kevin Cortés, right? <risa> Yes. No, está ocupado. Es que yo pensé que solo unos 15 minutos me iba a tomar, pero realmente terminé a las 10 y media. Coincidence. ¿En serio? Right. Aunque no lo crean. Mari es testiga. Ajá, yo no. 
I know. Oh my goodness. All right, don't worry. So we're going to actually um stop right here. So people, you can go back in one minute to the main session so we can share what you have, all right? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. Welcome back, everybody else. All right, so we got Maria back. We got, okay, let's see. One second here. What is it? When you're there. All right. Excellent, excellent. Welcome back, everybody. So now let's just go back to the activity right here, which is this one. Okay, perfect. Now, I want five volunteers, one per um, etiquette guideline, all right? So who wants to give me one? Just one. Just one, please. What is it? Volunteer? Just for one, please. Push the teacher. Go ahead. Al azar, déjalo al azar, teacher. Escuela al azar. All right, no problem. So I will be just like that one. All right. Um. Oh, I got an idea here. All right. So, uh, my volunteer will be the last person who sent the message on the chat saying, "How do you say?" Eh, ambiente laboral. How do you say that in English? All right. To the chat, to the chat. The last person is going to be my volunteer. What is what is it? Mm -hmm. Ambiente laboral. The last person who sends that one, it's going to be my volunteer. Almost, almost. Luis Humberto Chenyet, si no le toca a usted. All right, so let's see. All right, very good, Nancy. That's the one. Work environment. Employee environment. There you go. Work environment, Maria. Excellent, excellent. So la quedando Irma, Irma. All right, so work environment, Carla. Very good. Volunteer, Irma, yes. Volunteer, volunteer. Yes, let's see. Um, work environment is the part of. Yes, Irma. Thank you, Irma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Irma, tell me one, please. The microphone, Irma, the microphone. Yeah, if you are late because, because. Mm -hmm. Solo una, digo. Yes. Por las cinco. No, yes. Las cinco. ¿Cómo? Ya, yeah, solo una, yes. Solo una. If you are late because, because. Mm -hmm. Ajá, ¿qué pasó ahí? Si tú llegas tarde, ¿por qué? You, you had an emer, em, emergencia, no sé cómo decir. Yes, I'm sorry, one more time. You have... You have to... Hello, Irma? Uh, emergency. <laughs> Don't worry. Como le salga. 
Emergency. Emergencia. Ah, no sé cómo se dice. All right, excellent. Recuerde que lo de la emergencia es el contexto, pero ¿qué tengo que hacer yo? Can someone help her? If I have an emergency and I will be late, what do I have to do? Have to call your superior. Call, you have to call your boss, let's say. You have to call your boss. Exactly. I'm notified. Excuse me? And notify the reason. All right, exactly. To explain. You are late. There you go. Excellent. So we continue with this one here. There you go. Excellent. And that's we have number one. You have to call your boss to explain the reason why you are late. Thank you very much. So we got this one right here. You have to call your boss to explain the reason why you are late. Repeat it, Irma, one more time. You have to call your boss to explain the reason why you are late. Thank you very much. Excellent. I like it. All right. So now, Irma, please select someone. Abner. Abner is not here. Carla Milena. All right, thank you very much. All right, Carla. Okay, teacher. Um, if you know that you will be late, mm -hmm. will be to call the concerned authority mm -hmm. and report the reason why you are late. Okay, Carita, thank you. But that was similar to the one that Irma gave us. Do you have another one? A different one? Uh, yes. Um, be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Others. No podemos dejar así, ¿no? Be polite when you talk to others. Ser educados o corteses cuando hablamos con otros. All right? Thank you, okay. Carlita. You were doing a very good job on that one. Who's the next person? Please tell me. Eh, Carlita? Eh, okay, permítame. Perdón. Ah. No problem. Uh -huh. María Epifania. Epifania, perdón. María, María. Okay. Um, do not talk loudly while eating. All right. Do not talk loudly or loud when you are eating. Very good. Do not talk loud when you are eating. Thank you. That's another one. All right, gonna see here. Thank you, all right. We need two, two more, all right. Maria, who's the next person? Um, um, Mauricio Antonio Ruano. All right, thank you. Mauricio, Mauricio. Mm, disappear. Another person. Any other volunteer, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. So let me see this one. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, would you mind helping us with uh, one of the options here? 
Uh, okay. When you are eating with your partners and receive a call, mm -hmm. you have to say, excuse me, and leave the table appropriately. Appropriately. Appropriately, right? Excuse me. When you get a call at the table. All right, excellent. But it's your run. All right, so. Yes. There you go. So excuse me when you get a call at the table. All right, so thank you. Uh huh, Mr. Romano, can you give me one one of the things that you were investigating there? Que no se que las que ya tenemos, please. A new one. Oh. Um. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is it? Yes, yes, yes. Oops. Hello. Hello, mister. A microphone, my friend, the microphone. Yes. Mr. Rano, the microphone. All right, excellent. There you go. Hello. Hello. Mr. Rano, the microphone. Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. And I think it's all important when you have to communication in an emergency. Ajá. Esa ya no es la diera, Mr. Rano, es la primera. Uh -huh. ya, hablamos ahorita, ya hablamos ahorita de cuando llega tarde uno. Uh, tiene que hablar por ahí con otros, que no hablemos fuerte y decir excuse me cuando, eh, you know, eh, recibimos una llamada en la mesa. All right. So, ¿cuál hace falta ahí, Mr. Rano? Our celebration with you con workers. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo sería ahí? Um, etiquette a call when you are it say all right excellent so we'll be like be respectful your co-workers during celebrations that's right. Good job, good job. Thank you. So we got this one right here. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So thank you guys for helping me completing this one. So we have a five of ten. Is someone the e? All right. On the um, uh, paragraph that we were reading. All right. So and we are about to continue right now here with this one, which is going to be the last activity for today. Take a look at this one, all right? Now, people, together, oops. Now, this one right here, we're going to create six um, of those guidelines, all right? Por eso van a ser propias, no del párrafo, right? So, and we're going to, like, you know, select some people right here so they can tell me some of them. All right, so let's say this one. Nancy, can you give me one of them? ¿Cuál sería, like, imagine que tenemos nuestra propia company, all right? So we go here. Tenemos acá, entonces vamos a crear nuestro propio manual, our etiquette manual. All right, so we can go ahead and check this one. So we'll be like the 20, 23. All right, there you go. So okay. tell me, the first one here says, greet everyone in the facilities. Hey guys, do you remember what is like greet the, uh, I mean, the facilities? What is it? Mm -hmm. 
What is the facilities? Do you know it? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Facilities. Facilities means yes, instalaciones. Like that one. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Oh, I have a question here from Mr. Gonzalez. It says right here. All right. Can you repeat? Um, how do you say proper? Okay, this one. All right. Um, do you say like appropriate or, or properly? Because that's a different one. Appropriately or appropriately. All right. Oh, I got it. So that would be like adequadamente. Yes. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me? Yes? Yes. Appropriately. Okay. All right. Appropriately. Appropriately. All right. Excellent. So it says... Uh, greet everyone in the facilities, All right? So it's like saludar a todos en las instalaciones, right? So Nancy, tell, tell me with the number two. What would be like your recommendation for estas etiquette manuals que estamos creando? Mm -hmm. Okay. You saw my works. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. uh, please, um, good morning, you're welcome, and others. Right, thank you, and others. Thank you, I like it. It's actually very good. It's about being polite. Thank you very much. Let's see this one. Thank you, thank you. All right, Maria, help me with the number three, please. What will be your recommendation for the Etiquette Manual 2023? Um. Mm -hmm. For example, help us uh, some people who uh, don't understand the, the words and also use uh, magic words okay. it's like um, we can keep it like that help some people when they don't understand thank you Maria appreciate it right that was a good one very polite. Um, Carla Milena, please go ahead. Um, keep and um, respect and empathy environment. Keep a uh, respectful, sería ahí. Respectful. Respect. And the uh, environment. Miente. Respectful and empathy. Oh, empathetic will be entonces. Sorry, I'll put it in parentheses later. It says right here, eh, empathetic, you said, right? Yes? Yes, eh, se diría, se dice, o sea, empatía, empathetic. Eh, no, sería like this one, empathetic, sería como like empático, you know, el adjetivo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Empathetic, like this one. So keep it respectful. En empathetic environment, all right? Sería ahí mantener un ambiente respetuoso y empático. All right? Great, excellent. Thank you. Anybody else here? What about you, Mr. Gonzalez? What will be your suggestion for this one? Okay. It will be be responsible with the priorities and tasks that uh, that your uh, that your boss say. <laughs> All right. So they'll be like be responsible, um, responsible with your duties, like this one. You know what is duties, people? No. This no. one right here. The word duties means como responsabilidades. All right. This one. So you go on this one right here, and it said like this. I'm gonna send it here. Duties, all right. And then you go on this one. Oops. 
I'm sending this right now. O como deberes o responsabilidades. All right. Great. Excellent. Thank you. And let's see. Who's going to give me the last one right here? That is going to be... Let's see here. Who wants to give me the last one? Mr. Pardo, what will be your, your recommendation to finish with this one? Hello, hello? All right. Carlita, give me another one, please. Um, be punctual mm -hmm. <laughs> at your job. Mm -hmm. That's it. No more, Rahima. Be punctual. All right. Thank you. You helped me a lot with this one, everybody here. And I appreciate it. All right. So remember, people, estas son basicamente rules. All right. Every company has so you can keep a nice environment. Right. And that's what it means here. All right. Thank you. You were doing an amazing job. Now, let's just remember, as in every class, help me by sending these reactions. Remember, it says here, now I can provide written and other instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Right. Ya puedo yo manejar. ¿Qué significan las etiquetas en el lugar de trabajo? Sabemos identificarlas en how do you say in English. If your answer is independently, you say yes with help or no. All right. So send your reactions, people, so we can go home. All right. Well, you are at home already, but we can just go to sleep. All right. So let's see right here. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Carla, for reacting to that one. Maria, thank you. Marta, thank you. Uh, thank you, Luisa. I'll see you tomorrow, Luisa. Uh, Mauricio, thank you. Thank you, thank you. There we go, Sandra, thank you. Oscar Humberto, thank you. Giovanni, all right, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alexa, all right, thank you very much. Okay, we are going to stop right here. I thank you very much for joining the class, everybody. And I will, well, remember, Tomorrow, we don't have classes, right? So I will see you until Thursday. Enjoy tomorrow, Mother's Day, and happy Mother's Day to uh, if anybody here is a mother, right? So thank you, guys, and have a thank wonderful day. Right. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, on Thursday. Sorry. Take care. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye.